Hey everybody, welcome to my new series for Rogue Tech uh, Project B 1.7 Plus. It's the same version I'm running here um, as I was running with uh, Infiltration. So uh, we are the R Farazonians and we're a bunch of pirates that came from um, the Tortuga Dominions. Um, and what I did was, if we have a look at the navigation here real quick, I'll show you where we are. We are here in the inner sphere. We kind of just traveled from right from the Tortuga Dominions right to Comstar Space. Uh, we're going to tool around in here and hopefully uh, pull off a bunch of missions at low level. I want to see how um, uh, the difficulty sliders at lower level is going to work. So if we go to the difficulties real quick here, let's go to settings, difficulty. Uh, this is pretty much um, how I normally start the game. Um, with one exception and that we we've got it starting at warlord here now it's obviously not the max difficulty no you start at normal we've gone up four levels and there's like five more to go after this or six more to go but we're going to start off at warlord um, and see how difficult it is with just uh, the max when you start off the game so i started off with full sea bills let's have a look at the mech bay um, on the way here to where we are i picked up a, a couple of things not a lot but a couple things uh, both locusts, um, so they're both stock locusts. The first locust is paramedium lasers. Second locust has got two machine guns and a medium laser. Those I haven't touched. The Jenner I touched slightly. Let's have a look at that real quick. Jenners are notorious for having no armor, as, as you guys I'm sure sure know. So I pulled off, this guy started off with I think four jump jets, uh, four medium lasers, and an SRM-4. I pulled two of the medium lasers off, some jump jets, uh, I swapped out an SRM-6 from the trebuchet, which I'll show you next, for the SRM-4 that's here. I put the 4 in the, tre the trebuchet. Um, and then I cranked up the armor on this thing just so that I got some survivability. Otherwise, like I think the arms were like 20 points, the torsos were 30 or something. So I had to really work on this guy to get him to a point where I'm not worried about losing him in the, in the first battle. So that's this guy. And then we got to look at uh, the trebuchet. This is the short range version of the trebuchet. So he's got to get in close to do any damage. Once again, this guy started off with really, really light armor. So I swapped out an SRM-6, uh, 4 for the 6, added a bit of armor, and I bought a ton of SRM Inferno ammo, and uh, dropped that in, uh, and pulled out a regular ton of SRM ammo. So we've got an SRM basically 10, and 3 medium lasers on this guy. At decent speed at 250 core, so it's not too bad. And then our main baby here, this guy, I did a bunch, oh, not a bunch, but a bit of work on this guy. I bought a couple things for him. Um, just because he's really the only guy with any kind of firepower that we have. So he starts off with a medium rifle in this arm. Uh, he had two tons of Sabo ammo, ammo but I took one ton out because we needed to, uh, to do a couple things to this guy. Um, I bought a heat bank and added it. I believe I bought this ECM and dropped it in as well. Uh, I'm not, I can't remember if this came with the ECM or not. I'm not 100% sure. There's two medium chemical lasers on this arm. They had two tons of ammo. I pulled one ton because each ton is like 15 rounds. So I don't need like 60 rounds of ammo. So I, I dropped one ton of ammo. Um, with the two tons, I added some armor. And I was able to add LRM dead fire. Um, we had a half a ton of dead fire ammo in here, so I was able to find a full ton and buy that and add that as well. And we also have ferrofibrous on here as well uh, to, to reduce the weight just a little bit. We added a bunch more armor. So this guy's got probably the, the most survivable mech out of the bunch. Relatively heat efficient. Once those rockets goes off, this thing is like going to be hot, hot, hot. So um, we, got the, we got a pair of single shot uh, rocket 20s on this arm, which we're going to save for... A, uh, knockout punch damage six times twenty. So um, hopefully, when we get close to a, a a mech that's like medium size, like fifty tonners or whatever, we're gonna wreck them with these guys. So that's this mech. Now our pilots. I basically you, know, you start off with eight pilots. I got rid of well, I got rid of half of them. So we've got five pilots enough for the five mechs that we have. Uh, most of our pilots we're gonna be running with uh, multi-target and. Um, Ace Pilot. Dust Raker we're going to use as our melee pilot, so he's got Juggernaut. Um, so we've got our five pilots here. Here's our Farazan. 
Uh, he's my main guy. And once again, we're going to go with multi-target and um, ace pilot. So that's that. Now, uh, command center. We've only got really one mission we can take on this planet, but it's probably a good good sense of how things are going to go. Now, this is an escort mission, so generally these are relatively easy. It'll be one lance, most likely. Um, you know, with one lance, we activate the convoy, we fight another lance, they get to the outpoint, point, another lance shows up. So one lance at a time should be enough. If there's two lances at the beginning, it's going to be tricky. <laughs> so we'll have to see what happens. All right, so we're going to go this route. Now, there's no half skull missions on this planet, unfortunately, but this is the best we can do with where we were. So let's negotiate this sucker. We're going to go full salvage, of course. 521, we need to get this, get the ball rolling here. So let's accept this mission. And let's get our pilots in. We're going to start with our Farazon, Arclight, and then we're going to go fire a maneuver for the last two. And we're going to go this route. I think we're going to take the dual medium laser locust. Um, just because you need to be a lot closer with the machine guns. But let's deploy and get this done. Okay, here we go. Beautiful. Let's see what we got here. We got one guy with no textures on our side, unfortunately. So that's where we're headed. Probably one lance in between. Looks like we got some supporting guys on our side. Not that they're going to really help all that much. Just got to make sure we don't got any arty guys. We're going to run with the Talos with no uh, with no, no uh, textures here. We got a dagger. Uh, what else? We got a wasp lamb. And a striker. Okay. Alrighty. Well, we're going to move forward. Check this out. So, I've uh, been doing a little reading on the 1.9 patch. Uh, it's kind of really good. Um, they've... Uh, for escort missions, they've improved the um, pathfinding of the vehicles, which is awesome. And for the end of the mission, if you've deleted, if you've uh, defeated all of the enemy units, the the uh, the um, mission will auto complete, which is awesome. So you don't have to wait for all the vehicles to get out. So I'm really hoping that helps out. I mean, I don't mind escorting the vehicles out because usually they're pretty darn close to being out by the time uh, you get there, but, you know, sometimes they're not. And for those vehicles that get stuck in the middle of nowhere, as long as you've killed all the enemies, you know, the vehicles can leave. So you can leave the, the uh, vehicles behind. You don't have to escort them all the way to the end. You can just go face the enemy. Although you do need to have one vehicle at least get out into the, uh, into the rec rescue hex. All right, let's go GV. Get as many chevrons of evasion as we can get here. I think I want to try and play this uh, series kind of how I've done in the past with like speed and um, so lots of evasion and um, hard hitting close in mechs. We'll see how far we can go with it. Because like I said, once you get later in the game, and the mechs are just so, you're facing so many mechs, getting in close is just death for you, unless you can murder mechs real fast. Or if you're playing in the right worlds like this, where you can limit the, their line of fire on you, you know? But even still, with with tons of, uh, with tons of um, enemy, mech, like enemy uh, missile launchers and stuff, it's really hard to... Uh, Oof, really, it's really hard to um, avoid them. Ah, we'll just leave it for now. Yes, All right, we don't know what else we're up against. Let's get into here. Moving to position. Getting some trees. What else do we got here? Savannah Masters. So far, it's relatively simple. I mean, we don't have the best chance to hit, but take what we do have.
Yeah, thanks for showing up, buddy. What can I do for you? So I'm still kind of recovering with my back. You betcha. It's feeling a lot better than what it was, but I've got to take it easy. Ooh, one hit. Nice. Really got to take it easy. I can't be doing a lot. So I thought I'd try this series today. If I can get a couple episodes recorded, that'll be good. And then uh, I'll switch back over to Infiltration. Take some bigger missions. I might start cranking up the difficulty difficulty on that one just to see how far we can go with it. Now that we got so many mechs. What do you need? Okay, Arclight, you need to get close. So let's get you up here. That was a pretty damn good chances to hit. We'll take those. Firing. So with this guy, we've got 10 turns of regular SRM fire and 10 turns of Inferno firing. Uh, Farazan. Okay, so. Gonna leave the rockets off from when we need them. Cindery. Got 12 turns of dead fire. We're gonna use the dead fire on this guy. Looks like the big one hit. Oh, I should have switched over to Sabo. Darn, I keep forgetting to do that. Well, sorry, I forgot this first time to do that. But I keep forgetting to switch ammo on on uh, stuff. The Sabo ammo does more damage to armor. 50% more damage to armor. So if I can use that first to punch a hole, that we will do. Christ, that striker did more damage than we did. All right, GB. Ready for order. This guy's buddy took off on him. Let's just open up on him. See what else we got up here. Might just be the Savannah Master. Waiting on you, Commander. Might just be that Savannah Master. Nice shot. Let's not get too too close. Ah, it's disappointing that this thing showed up as a uh, no texture, but I'm sure it'll be fine next time. I don't know where the hell that Savannah Master went to. Yeah. Heading out. Picked up a blip. Yeah, but where'd it go? Let's leave these off. We'll save the ammo for later. Beautiful. Move her down. And that'll be it for our escort. So there's two more guys left here somewhere. Savannah Master, I'm not worried about. Where are we going, though? That's what I want to know. There's a good position for you. Probably over here. I will find out. Ah, he's coming back. Beautiful. Full throttle. All right, well. I was hoping for, like, at least one medium, but I don't even know if we're going to get that. Okay, we're going to activate the convoy. Oh, whoa, whoa, wait, what do we got here? Spectre. Running with a mask, and I think you broke it. I think you broke that mask. Can you guys go hunt that Spectre down for me, please? Well, you can't quite get there, eh? I'll race you. See if we can get a death blow on, well, not death blow, I guess not. We can get a hit on this guy, maybe. God, I forgot about how terrible our pilots are I hear ya. to hit at the very beginning of the game. Got it. Max speed, no shooting. Let's 
All right, Arclight. I was going to go ahead and act activate that convoy, but I think with that Spectre roaming around out there, might be a bad idea. Yeah, we need to get the SRMs on this guy. Firing. Ooh, a couple hits. Nice. Nice. We'll take that. You know what? We're going to activate. Screw it. Let's get things moving. Because that's how we roll. Somebody just trying to figure stuff out back there. Okay, that's a side shot. Beautiful. Now, I hope we're in inside the hex. It looks like we are, but find out soon enough. We're going to use dead fire. Look at the chance to hit. Beautiful. Firing. Oh, there you go. Didn't switch the ammo that time either. At least the strikers decided to come with us. All right, where's our extraction point? So that's not so bad. It's up and over. All right. Come on, guys. Let's go. Move it. Round 29. It's our vehicles. Heavy wheeled, mash truck, turd hand, and a prowler. Okay. And they're not moving. Stingy. Stinger. J. Edgar Hoovercraft. Seems kind of bad for uh, Warlord One Skull, but whatever. I mean, it is also, too, it is a uh, escort mission. Oh, there's the J. Edgar. That guy came over pretty quick. I wonder if they'll have three units. Because the opening group had three. There might be three more than four at the end. Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. We're going to send the... <coughs> excuse me. We're going to send the Jenner and the, uh, the Locust to hunt this guy down. We'll have the, tre the Trebuchet and the Talos push forward. Trebuchet, Trebuchet, Trench Bucket. Let's go, people. Is it the striker trying to figure out? It is. No, it's our turd hand, sorry. Ooh, a pair of large lasers. Get like this so he can't get behind you. He's got a jammer, but not not worried about that. We got the speed. Although the <laughs> degenerate doesn't though, he's just going on fifteen. Okay. Well, finally we got some guys moving up. Alright, GB. Let's get to close. I am the wind. Better chance to hit from in here. Confirmed. Not much better. <laughs> but it's a little bit better. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, let's get everything on this guy. Okay, nice shooting. Got to remember to switch over to Sabo here. APFSDS. Armor piercing, fin stabilized, discarding Sabot. Bet you guys didn't think I knew that. The round I wish I had, though, was with the armor-piercing, fin-stabilized, discarding, stab and depleted uranium. That's the round I wish I had. But we'll take what we got. Hello. 
Ah, right, can I get a witness? Can I get a witness? We have yet to hit this guy. Don't want to overextend myself here. Let's just move down in the trees. Shoot this guy from the side. Oh, nicely done. Two hits. One CT, one arm hit. This guy's got some okay armor. 35 tons. Isn't, that's pretty good compared to my 35 tonner. Well, yeah, a little bit better. Why are you going? Oh, I guess this road's blocked. How are you? Okay, we're going to fire them maneuver. Welcome to, my Welcome to, to 16 points damage. So far, we're running pretty heat efficient. This guy's going to be an issue. He's going to get uh, he's going to get lost. We don't have anybody near him. Base sixteen, huh? We've got to have one more guy here somewhere. I can't see them only having two units here for the central uh, attackers. I don't know if these guys are going to move either. Well, the striker's ours. This guy might not move. Goes on 13, eh? Yeah, dodge, parry, weave. Now, can we get behind him? That's the question. No, he's got his back to the wall. Good job. And this is the side that's damaged, too, is the uh, side that's against the wall. So, yep. All right, arc like this is a fire maneuver. Let's see if we can wipe this guy out and fire it all. Let her rip. Nope. We're going to move out here because we know our vehicle's going to be moving. Let's clear the road. Yeah, there's somebody else back here. Another Savannah Master, so I'm not worried. So now the question becomes, I guess we move... This guy goes on 18, so he's already gone. Prowler hasn't gone yet. Well, I am hope I'm in range here. I think I am. Two medium pulses, eh? Uh, so we punch through. Let's go back to standard. And we'll fire. Nope, not enough. I'm going to back up to here, though. And let's hope this guy over here will start moving. I don't know. Hopefully you'll start moving back towards where we are. Yeah, I think we've overextended ourselves. If this guy goes out, we're going to have a whole other lance to deal with. This should be... Well, I mean, not like we're here with heavy competition, but I have no idea. Like There might be media mechs in that lance coming up. So we got to kill this guy fast. I mean, we could just pull him with us. Go after the uh, Stinger, because that should go down fast. I think he's only got like a medium laser and a pair of machine guns or a pair of, or a pair of medium lasers or something. Savannah Master should go down quickly. That guy's almost done. Oh, you asshole. Do they think they can hurt me? I don't know. I guess they do. So you go on 17. Oh, Jesus. Internal structure damage. Order. 
That's pretty bad. We gotta get rid of this Spectre. Can't have this guy behind us. I'm gonna get the trebuchet over here. What can I do for you? Let's get back here with you and get these two other guys moving. So we're going to pull the trebuchet over to help out with this Spectre. He's got to go. And we'll move... We'll leave the, uh, the um, Locust back here to help these guys move. Talos will move forward and engage. Most likely the J. Edgar. I think he's facing... Which way is he facing? So hard to tell. Okay, the Prowler's moving forward, finally. Oh, yeah, nice. We don't have to touch him now. Beautiful. Yeah, thanks for showing up late. Showing up late to the party. Yeah, it's... Yeah, this guy's running. It's tricky because um, at lower level you never really know what you're going to get. And with the difficulty cranked up a little bit, it's like even more wild card, right? Especially since none of, us, or none of our guys can hit very well. Okay, Arclight. Yeah. Stinger has gone away. Let's get over here and play. That rhymes. Now, the Spectre is running pretty cool, but maybe we uh, go with some Inferno on him, warm him up a little bit. Okay, a little bit of damage in the back, not bad. It's a start. So, that's our Striker. Okay, here goes the turd hand. Mash truck. I don't know if this guy's going to come back. He's just kind of sitting there. Probably nowhere to move, like... Because the striker, I think, blocked the road again. So we're going to have to push up with uh, the Talos. I hope he just doesn't sit there the whole battle. It's going to be so frustrating. I got no way to kill him either. Okay, let's get the Talos up. Let's see if we can take out this Savannah Master. Let's switch it to... Uh, oops, no, leave it there. APFSDS. Alright. A little bit of damage. Sure, you're attacking him now. Now that I've done some damage. I hear you. Um, just stay there. Maybe we can get this guy back on track. I got a feeling he's not going to do it. He's just going to sit here the whole battle. That'll really suck if he does. Now there's another one skull battle. Oh yeah, nice. Can leave the Infernos on. Let's warm them up some more. Oh yeah. Let's make it harder for him to get behind us. So I was going to say, um, I'm not sure what the other one skull mission is. Um... But I think we can go ahead and try that one. I mean, worst case scenario, we're facing two lances, right? Which, I don't know. I mean, it depends. If they're the same kind of uh, mechs as what we're fielding here, we'll be okay. But if they're tougher, then I don't know. I don't know. 
So this guy took some good back damage. And he's nice and toasty now. Okay, that... I think the Spectre's running an XL engine. I could be wrong. But if he is... He's trying to cool off here. We're going to swing behind him and blow him up, hopefully. All right, who's going next? Phase 17. This guy's already gone then, so he's still sitting there. Damn it. Commander. Hardcore, you know the score. On my way. Yeah, let's hope we do some damage to him. Roger that. Nope. We're in stealth range, that's why. Or ECM range, I think. I think he's jamming us. Or we just could be lousy pilots. That That's out of the possibility. <laughs> Get strikers just sitting there. What are we at, 13? These guys aren't moving, man. Guy goes on 12. Why aren't these guys moving? He's fleeing the interview. All right, let's get up here. See if we can put one of these guys out of action. This guy we might be able to. Yeah, we're going to go this route so it can punch right through the armor. Uh, let's switch to dead fire and firing. Come on, blow up. Nope. Well, it was almost a kill. Come on, witness. Guys aren't moving. This guy goes on 19. He's supposed to move, but he's not moving. I don't know if I want to rerun this battle. Yeah. Copy that. Okay, let's hammer this guy. Okay, let's see if we can get the kill on him. Nope. Lifting off. These things can't bend fast enough. Yeah, you're fine. You're fine. As long as we keep this guy toasty and not firing, we're good. Yep, none of our vehicles are going to move. Relax, guys. They should just keep driving no matter what. And if you don't keep up with them, then it's too bad. Can't wait to use this rocket salvo. That guy's a tricky bastard. Come on. Send me a real mech warrior. Uh gonna leave the dead fire off. Let's go up to the leg. Damn it. Well, can't fuck around. Let's move forward. 
That guy's pretty much out of the battle anyway. Where do we hit, though? No idea. Well, Savannah Master's coming back to uh, take advantage of the damage, back damage, but not doing anything. Okay, we got movement on 12, so the Prowler and our Striker should move. If this guy can get the hell out of the way, maybe the other vehicle will move back. Okay, at least he's moving forward. Alright, one hit. One hit, nice. I'll take anything at this point. Anything at all. This vehicle's not moving. I hear you. All right, let's get over here. Got it. Max speed, no shooting. See if he tries to come back. Want to play the back game? We can play the back game. See ya. Tango down. Yep, we're just running next cell. I'm receiving you. Got it, Commander. Okay. So we got Talos left to go. Phase 17. This guy goes on 16. Let's see if he moves. This guy didn't move. Oh, okay, okay, good, 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 good. You know what it might be is having the multiple mechs so that he's got a free free reign to move. So let's move. we get a split shot? Oh, yeah. Okay, so we're going to put the uh, dead fire on the stinger and everything else. Oops. Everything else, but we're going to change this back to regular ammo. We'll fire at the Savannah Master. Beautiful. That should have been leg, right? Yeah, nice. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Double kill, baby. Alright, we're clear to move out. Alright, GB, let's get our ass moving. Uh, let's get... well... How far did that guy move? Pretty far. Let's get right up and behind them. Whoa, sprint, please. Like, right into here. Nice. Now I'm hoping that we get at least a half decent lance here at the end. We probably could have done a one and a half skull mission for this. Alright, they're finally moving. Can I get a witness? Let's get up into here. Let's get these guys moving. Now Trebuchet is kind of out of position here. But I think we should be able to sprint down here and be fine. What are we on here? Round 18. It's this guy. Let's see if he moves. He's been sitting there for quite some time now. Yep, finally. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yep. Okay, Arc Lake. Arc light. It's the ghost light. All right. All right. That's not bad. They're getting together. What about this guy? This is the striker. Okay. All right. Let's get way down here if we can get as far as we can go. I don't know where their reinforcements will show up. Probably from down here or off to the side. OK, 
Okay, dagger and GB. Now, this is the striker. He's not part of the group that we need to move. So let's sprint it into here. Stay off the road to give our vehicles a place to move. Lamb. What can I do for you? Let's get back here, hopefully shepherd this guy forward. They're moving. They are moving. We're going to reserve, I think. Standing by. Going to reserve. I don't want to go too far ahead. This guy might go out, maybe. Nope. Perfect. Yeah. Character light. Get up as far as we can go here. She's really two turns from engaging anything back here. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Okay, nice. They're going to be going out next turn, most of them anyway. How far can we get? Uh, let's put ourselves in here. Because we might as well destroy shit as we're running. We don't got to pay for it, so I don't care. Okay, witness. Get up behind the mash. A unit. Pedal to the metal. Keep this guy shepherded forward. I was, you know, was worried there for a while that we weren't going to have, uh, we weren't going to have um, all the vehicles moving out. Okay. Ready for order. How far up can you get? Let's get you into uh, here. No shooting, just running. Kind of on the flank. Because I don't know where the enemy is going to show up here. Come on, buddy. 16. There you go. Okay, they're on our flank. Hold this position, Commander. The package will be on its way soon. Two out. Okay, we got a vehicle. Valkyrie. What's this guy? Saladin? Crap. Shoot the Saladin. Chopper, two choppers. Okay. So not as tough as I thought it was going to be. Plus we got guys back over here that can help. Hopefully they move over this way. I'm going to try and take out these choppers first. 10 ton ripper. Probably the same, looks like. Nope, ferret, 5 tons. Ah, Ferrizone. Um, sure. You never know. No damage detected. Be nice to kill that salad in early. Valkyrie, Valkyrie. Don't land on me. I marked myself in pink so you can see where I was. Yeah, you just keep you just stay down there even though you can fly. I hear you. Thanks for showing up. Uh, let's reserve you. Yes, Commander. Get on this ferret. Yeah, he's probably got one of those uh, barrages. Well, that was a miss. I saw the damage numbers. I'm thinking, yeah, we got him. And I'm like, no, we didn't. We did not. I don't even think we hit him. Oh, we might have. Oh, we did. Got him with an SRM, looks like. There's that mass truck moving up. Finally. Be interesting to see what the salvage is, what salvage is available for this, because uh, I want to see 
how much we can improve the current mechs we have. Let's go after the Saladin. Terrible chances to hit. We're gonna, oops, we're gonna switch these to uh, standard. Hopefully pen and kill it. Wow. Thanks for showing up. Who was shooting at that guy? Thought we had a vehicle with two large lasers on it. Okay, their choppers are going now. Alright, witness, let's get up here. Sprint it up here, sprint it up there. Wow, 48%. I guess this guy just must have sat there. Nicely done. I wonder if we should fire first and then move over here so this guy moves out. I don't know if I'm posted up over here. I don't think he... Well, he might still move. We'll see. I'll move forward. Alright, well, whatever. Don't know if that was a chopper attempting to move or what it was, but we're going to move up before we fire, I think. Um, yeah. Let's just go right on this guy. I want to get rid of this AC-20. Beautiful. Oh, it was an Ultra-20. It's still an Ultra... No, it's destroy, I think, right? Or is it the ammo destroyed? Christ, imagine picking up an Ultra-20 this early. Okay, where's this guy damaged? I don't know. Nicely done. You got that right. Smoke him if you got him. Two down. Yep, you had a tag barrage. That's what he had. You know, you guys know who's getting those rocket launchers, right? give you a hint. It's got two legs and it's the only enemy mech on the board. And we're staring right at him. <laughs> He's going to get full rocket barrage here in a second. You better move. He's not going to move. Let's hope we can clean this up here. Let's hope our guy... There we go. Beautiful. I was going to say, let's hope that mass truck moves out. Striker trying to, trying to get up here for the battle. He was doing some good damage earlier on, but uh, just not making it up here. Okay, so we're going to put the trebuchet on the Ripper. Please tell me you don't have a barrage. Could you imagine? He just barrages these four vehicles and kills all four of them in one shot. Wouldn't surprise me. Now it's paused, of course. It's thinking about what it's going to what it's going to wipe out. Okay. Well, that's not good. I need you to kill this guy is what I need. Beautiful. One more for the scrap heap. How are we doing heat-wise? I don't care. Let's end this. There we go. Nice solid blue line. We're nice and toasty, but I don't care. Let's go with this. Firing. All 
See ya. There it is, folks. Let's go home. Mission successful. All right, there we go. Contract payment increased by 30%. That should more than cover any damages we took. We don't have any tough armor. Yeah, we got a back shot on us, but we're all right. All right, let's see what we can get here salvage-wise. So we could pick up, uh, I think we need five. Yeah, we need five parts of a sp for any mech to, to uh, get something. ER large laser, that's a possibility. I don't think I want to go that route, though. Flamers, that's a possibility. Heavy rocket launcher, fives, 12 damage. Times five missiles, two of them. That's a possibility. LRM-10, another possibility. Ooh, medium pulse laser. Tag Barrage, Ultra 20. Endo Steel is definitely needed. Guardian ECM is a good possibility. And we got to be Ultra 20 ammo. Probably not. Double Heat Sinks. Can't use. Mask, we could use. Standard Cooling. Ultra 20 Caseless Ammo. I mean, what's the chance of us actually using the Ultra 20 anytime soon? Probably really, really slim, but I'd rather have it on me. We can get Ultra 20 ammo a little easier than I think we can get an Ultra 20. Plus, one ton's not going to really do us any good. It's only five turns of shooting. The medium pulse, we can get more, more use out of a medium pulse now, I think, than anything. Um... Yeah, I feel pretty comfortable about this. Let's go this route. All right, one, two, three, stinger parts, a specter part, ER large, okay, LRM-10, nice. Uh, one core we can sell, double heat sink we'll hang on to, couple jump jets, the mask, basic sensors. So we got the, we got the two tons of ammo too. That's perfect. Yeah, 8,000, that's nothing for repairs. 8,000 in three days. So we've got, I, sh I should have showed you the engineering bay. We've got a few upgrades already in the Argo. Power systems, second mech bay. we got all the repair stuff for the mech bay's training module. One level of recreation. So one level of structure. So uh, yeah, we're looking all right with the uh, Argo for the first little while. So we're going to get these guys healed up and back into action. And then next, I'll probably do some adjustments to the mechs now that we got some more gear. Um, in the next episode, we'll tackle this other one skull mission, which is uh, attack and defend. I don't know how we'll do on this one, but we're going to give it a shot and see what happens. Um, it should be interesting anyway. All right, so I'm going to leave this episode here. I'm going to try and keep these uh, these episodes a little shorter than um, than uh, infiltration. Uh, just make them a little more easy, easily digestible. All right, so until next time, we'll see everybody later.